All right, we're going to do a three-part series on annuities, primarily in order to focus on the fixed index annuity. In this video, we're going to cover the background, why an annuity, why an insurance company, how we got to a fixed index annuity. The second one is going to be on the account value side because a fixed index annuity has a left side and a right side. So we're going to left side is account value. And then the third video is going to be on the right side, the income promise. So let's start with the question of why why an insurance company? And that's because what you're doing is you are looking to offload your risk. Offload risk because generally people have buckets of money, right? In, in, in our practice, we look at the safe and secure, which is occupied by the fixed index annuity space. Then there's low risk and then there's moderate risk. The reason we are offloading the risk to an insurance company over here is the money in the fixed index annuity is never put in the market. It tries to take advantage of the market, but it's not put in the market. So a little background, because there's a lot of annuities out there. There's a lot of people trying to sell annuities. So let's really get our arms around why. So forever and ever, there was a variable annuity and a fixed annuity. So fixed annuity, this is where you buy it for a term. It's that the rate is fixed. It doesn't change for your term. You can buy a one year or a two year, three, you can do five, seven, 10, whatever you want to. In these low interest rate environments, uh, these are not paying very much and it's difficult to justify going out and buying anything really much longer than a three year fixed annuity. No fees involved in here. It, it's what your rate is, is what your rate is. The variable, just think of it this way, it's a mutual fund manager or a group of mutual fund managers inside an annuity wrapper. There is a fixed account. There's an account that's fixed and it's generally a one-year account, but you have a bunch of choices, right? You're going to have a large cap growth manager. You're going to have a, a large cap value manager. You're going to have a small cap and a mid cap and an international, and you're going to have a variety of bond funds, a regular bond fund, a high yield bond fund. You might have some other exotic things, maybe real estate commodities and so forth. But the point is that all these managers are in here. It's a sub account managed under the annuity platform. You can move money around, you can mix and match. And, um, and if it's IRA money, obviously it's all the, all these moves would be tax free exchanges, but if it's non IRA money, as long as it's in this annuity wrapper, right? The advantage of this annuity wrapper, you can move around and everything is tax deferred until you actually take the money out. Pros and cons. Fixed annuity, really the, 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 the pro is that you know what you're going to get and that it's a, it's a lower uh, expense structure. The con is, well, it depends on what interest rates you're doing, right? And these, these are not a very good deal right now. Pros of a variable annuity is you have the choice of getting market participation. The con is on variable annuities is they are just incredibly expensive. So you have for this wrapper, for the annuity wrapper, you have what's called an M&E charge, mortality and expense charge. And that's generally 1% to 1.4%. Each of these managers inside here, they're all charging a fee. They're all going to be between 1% and 2%. manager fee. And then there's always this income rider, and this is going to make sense in the third video. And the income riders, you're going to see the charges anywhere between 0.7 and one and a half, depending on what you get. And there's all kinds of other things you can do. You can add a death benefit rider and blah, blah, blah. But you can see very quickly, you can get over 3% in a blink of an eye. And generally, we often see things closer to 4%. So that's a pretty tough sled to pull behind you when if you have this rider, and this is going to make more sense in, in video three. If you have this writer, the insurance company is going to force you to have an asset allocation of between equity and bond and fixed income. So you're going to have 60, let's say 60% in the, the growth stuff, and they're going to have 40% in the bond stuff. Well, by just that nature, your overall return is going to be inhibited, right? Because you're not going to get the pull through on returns in the bond side. So you're already inhibited in that. And then you tack on three or 4% fee besides that, that that's a tough go. Okay. So in 1995, 96, the insurance industry came up with a combination of these two called the fixed indexed annuity. Okay. Fixed meaning it has the fixed component here and where you're getting the variable, the growth component is they're buying an option on the index. So we will take this to video number two to explain how this part works for all the videos and all the subjects we do. 
make sure you go to thebrinkmanacademy.com. Okay, we'll see you in number two and three. Thanks.